Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about 6 important tips about RPCS3 which would make the RPCS3 experience much better. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So if you frequently use RPCS3, one of the major things that may bother you is the update pop-ups. Well, you can easily disable this update pop-ups by going to configuration, GUI, and then selecting the drop down menu below check for updates on startup by choosing the background option you can disable the pop-ups although the updates will show up on the top right corner of rpcs3 and you can update the program anytime next step is about changing themes in order to change your rpcs3 theme just head on over to configuration gui and select the drop down menu in the UI style sheets box. There are several options that you can choose from and if you want to test them just click apply and when you have made your decision just remember to save it. Now moving on to the next tip. This tip is actually the most important one and I have mentioned this in almost every RPCS3 video that I have uploaded. So I will say it again. Please stop asking for a game's best settings. You can find the best settings for each game by right clicking it and selecting check game compatibility and after you click on the game's title you'll be greeted with the wiki page of RBCS3 and all the important settings that needs to be changed are stored here. You should only change these settings by right clicking on your game and choosing create new configuration. That's it. That's the best setting you can get from this particular game because it is tested and it is approved by the RPCS3 community and moderators. Now the next tip is about how to uncap the frame limit in the games that do not have the unlock FPS patch or the frame rates are capped at 30 or below. For example, take the game The Incredible Hawk. The frame limit is 30 at this game. But we can unlock it by heading to custom configuration of the game, advanced tab and doubling the V blank frequency. Well you see the default number of V blank frequency is the game's native frame limit meaning that the 60 in V blank frequency for Hulk is equal to 30 frames in the game and now what we want to do is to double it and increase the frame cap in game from from 30 to 60 well that's basically doubled so what we want to do is double the V blank frequency from 60 to 120 in order to do that I hope that makes sense and uh, one other important note is that uh, you can do all of these on the fly end and you don't need to close the game I must also add that this doesn't work for every game but um, you should absolutely try it if the game has as a capped FPS. Now moving on to the next step. You've probably came across some games that have graphical issues running with the default settings and do not have a specific configuration on the wiki page of RPCS3. In this situations, you can turn on bright color buffers in the GPU tab which fixes broken lighting and missing graphics. Again, this might not work for every game, it's worth the try. And I also should add that if this setting makes your game run better and there's no mention of it in the RPCS3 wiki, you can contribute to the RPCS3 wiki by mentioning this solution. Now for the last tip, we have save states. Creating save states is pretty simple. Just open your game and press Ctrl S whenever you want 
want to take a snapshot of your save state. I should also add that to this state, you can only add one save state per game. If you try to take a second snapshot, it'll replace the first one. After the save state is created, you can just right click on the game and choose boot with save state. This will boot your game from the snapshot that you just took. Again, remember that save states don't work for every game. That was it guys, I hope uh, this was helpful to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.